Hello everybody, Neil Davis from TR33 Environments here today to talk to you about Meripilus giganteus or giant polypore as it's called. Uh, so here it is, uh, hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, it's quite a large frond, uh, when it's fresh it can be quite an orangey colour, uh, fading to this browny grey fawn colour. Uh, the fronds are often overlapping and quite large. They sit on the, the base of trees, uh, typically in the root buttresses, but you can occasionally see it slightly further out from the tree uh, where it's growing on roots just below the surface. Now this causes uh, decay of the rooting structure and the base of the tree, um, typically affecting the underside of the roots and can cause complete tree failure. Uh, it's quite a serious one this, generally by the time it's uh, fruiting above ground like this, the, the damage is quite extensive to the rooting structure. So, uh, the preferred option is to either carry a significant reduction to the tree to reduce the way that the, the, the wind acts on the tree but also to reduce the mass of the tree above ground. Uh, if that's not an option, uh, depending on where the tree is, unfortunately the only other uh, plan is to, to fell the tree, which is a great shame. Um, just to, to show you what it looks like at the base of the tree, hopefully you can see that there. It comes up in these fronds. This is quite a small one. Um, you would have seen some pictures recently on other social media about it getting uh, quite large. There we go, guys. Meropilus giganteus or giant polypore. Cheers now.